Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, Bakuri Box 12 here, and welcome back to another Realm of the Mad God update video. So in preparation of the Shatters rework coming out in the next month of the Mad God, the Shattered Kingdom event will be live from June 6th to the 16th, appropriately being centered around the lore of the Shatters. Get a quick little excerpt here. Hail to our land of providence strong, a home to all heritage and trades. Hail to the allies who join us in song. May the realm never need to draw blades. Hail to the rulers of benevolent kind, their wisdom through all lands renowned. And hail to the kingdom of faultless design. Shall it evermore serve the crown. Greetings, realmers. While it is not month of the Mad God yet, you can soon be part of an unprecedented event dedicated to lore, namely the lore of the Shatters. Remember what has been forgotten and exchange knowledge for power. Ancient scrolls have been unearthed, revealing glimpses of the history of the Shattered Kingdom and the inner workings of its royal court right before the kingdom's collapse. Twenty of them will gradually become able to be found by enterprising adventurers in selected dungeons and the realm. Collecting these scraps of history will be rewarded by the ever-present tinkerer with peculiar artifacts of the Shattered Kingdom itself. These books will drop in gold bags and look like this. So, pretty much identical to the Deadwater Docks, just a different color. That's all well and good, but what's going on here? Like before, double-click on them to read. Really like the artwork here. It's nice and old-fashioned looking. We then get a chart telling us when certain pages will be available and from where. The three dungeons it's based on is Avalon the Archivist, Oryx 2, and the Forgotten King. And in the realm, every event god can drop them, as far as I can tell, in addition to Ghost Kings, Cyclops Gods, and Red Demons. Also, the dungeons during this time will have 1.5 times normal loot and XP rates. The whole point is to collect all 20 pages pages. For each set of five pages that you get, you will exchange them into the Tinkerer for a tome, as well as bonus mystery ST chests every step of the way, but at the very end with the Lore Master quest, you unlock His Majesty's Eminence, a slightly weaker crown with a really nice resprite. Rest assured, however, they are not nerfing the regular crown in the rework. This is just like the Helm of the Jacko Knot, a slightly weaker version of an existing UT, because you can get this from the Tinkerer. In addition to that, there is the Skulking Skull King Pet Skin, basically the crown with the Forgotten King's skull still attached. It's kind of morbid. And finally, a mysterious object. Alongside this, there is also a community campaign taking place. Unlike previous campaigns, however, this is not token-based. It's all about completing tasks. Every time you complete a tome quest, you get 75 points. The final lore master will give you 600. Every time you kill Avalon, you get 3, Oryx 2 for 10, and the Forgotten King with 20. So unlike regular campaigns where it's account-based, this is a community total. There are seven tiers of rewards. At 50,000 points, we get one backpack, one adventurer's belt, one lucky clover, eight mystery stat pots, it's pretty standard. At 250,000, one mystery ST chest, two backpacks, two adventurer's belts, two lucky clovers, eight mystery stat pots. 550,000, one golden lucky clover, one mystery ST chest, three backpacks, three adventurer's belts, eight mystery stat pots. 850,000, two golden lucky clovers, one mystery ST chest, three backpacks, three adventurer belts, ten mystery stat pots. 1,150,000, three golden lucky clovers, two mystery ST chests, four backpacks, four adventurer's belts, twelve mystery stat pots. One four hundred and fifty thousand three golden lucky clovers three mystery st chests four backpacks four adventurers belts 16 mystery stat pots and finally one million eight hundred thousand points one vault chest unlocker three golden lucky clovers three mystery st chests four backpacks four adventurers belts and 20 mystery stat pots seems like a fun way to get us to do a bunch of shatters though probably a bunch of exaltations while we're at it and most importantly a way to say goodbye to the old shatters that has been in the game for like eight years so this is going to be yet another pivotal moment in Realms history. Until then, that's the news. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright. See ya.